Hello, so I guess this is the start of episode two, and before I get started, I just want to say, so I made that intro, and then for some reason, I import it into Premiere Pro, and for some reason, it shrinks all of my other clips, not shrinks them, it, it zooms them in, and then I have to change settings to either have one size for the clips or one size for the intro, and it's doing my head in, so I'm basically just not having the intro, because... For some reason, I can't figure it out right now, and I'm not going to waste my time having an intro. Like, you, if if you've watched episode one, you know what my aims are. So, I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna keep you up to date, like with what I'm doing anyway. But while I am just AFK AFK wood cutting in the background, um, my goal at the minute is just to get 80 fletching, so I can um, obviously get the magic short bow. So at the minute I am 74 and I'm like, you know, getting it more and more and more. But at the minute it's it's kind of slow getting to 80. So, but eventually when I like alcohol all of these bows when I need the money, it's going to be good money. So as you can see, I've got 122 that I need to alk. I've got 81 that are unstrung. I need to pick some more flax, but that doesn't really take long. I've got 154k cash now, so whenever I want, I can go buy my dragon skim and um, do some melee training. I guess you know I've got I've got a bit of food. I probably should fish some more eventually, but my goal at the minute 80 fletching, ranged, um, mining, smithing. I don't know. I think I think I can buy arrows, so I might avoid doing that for now, but. Obviously, my main goal is just to get the magic short bow, which shouldn't really take that long. You know, I'm getting closer and closer each time I've got off full invent. So I'll keep you up to date with what I'm doing. Right, I've given up wood cutting and fletching for right now. So what I'm going to do is um, go and finish my slayer task, which was ogres. And I'm obviously going to train range while I'm doing it. So, because I need 50 range in the first place to equip my magic shortbow when I finally get it. So, I'm still rocking the iron arrows with the uh, maple shortbow. In four more levels, I'll be able to get the, I'll be able to use my U shortbow, which is going to take no time at all. So, let's just hope there's not a million people here. Okay, I'm going to have to hop a few worlds or maybe I'll just join in with all the fun. But this shouldn't really take too long. I think I've got about. 150 i mean i've got about 90 ogres left or something like that so i'll be back when this is done right so i just got 40 ranged and equipped my u short bow this task is taking me fucking forever i've still got 96 left and i think it's because of the arrows i'm using and obviously i have like no range attack bonus so um i'm probably just gonna upgrade my arrows in a bit and see about getting some um different armor because now i can have green dehyde right but i need 40 defense i think so i'm going to see about getting some green dehyde in a bit and my range level should fly up after that i bet this is the first time in history ever, anybody's ever trained attack in this gear but i mean defense so i just got 40 defense just so i could wear this green dehyde body um i've been killing men i know there's probably better ways of like getting defense xp but i just wanted to get a few herbs and i know that's a simple way so now i'm just going to go back to uh, get my ranged up it's 45 at the minute but now i've got this green dehyde it should be a little bit better um xp rates because before i just was not hitting at all it was terrible but i'm going to head over to uh, the rock real quick and just look at investing in some better arrows because it it's just going to be much faster. Like these iron arrows aren't cutting now. I'm basically hitting like fuck all. So I'm just going to run over there real quick and see about the arrows. So because I don't want to spend all my money and they cost 80 coins per one. But I don't know if you buy some, like when you buy some, the price goes up. So I'm just going to, I guess I'm just going to buy a bunch of mithril. Okay, they do go up. So I'm going to hop worlds, but I'm going to buy 100 each world, get to about 500 and then I'll stick to like 500 myth ones for now it's gonna be way better than iron so so i've got my 500 myth arrows now i'm just returning to uh castle wars to continue doing my ogre task i can't wait to like get an actual task that's like giving me half decent stuff because this this ogre task the only thing i'm getting is big bones and like the odd limp seed or whatever so 
you know, I, I can't be like, I, I just want it over. <laughs> I, t- I don't have anything else to say. I just, I just want a different task. But I, I've realized right now I am way behind on total points and like tasks completed. And there's so many like easy ones I can do. But just as I'm like doing stuff, I'm going to be getting them passively. So all of like the, the bigger tasks are going to come like much later on, if you know what I mean. So now I'm just, I'm hitting a lot more already. I can see I'm doing way better with this setup and it's only taken me like 20 minutes to get better gear. So I'll be back when I'm getting levels or tasks. Right, so I've just unlocked another relic, or at least I should have. And everybody seems to be going for fluid strikes. But I am going to get, oh, I don't know, man. This this is going to speed up like while I'm doing a lot of range training for now. But then, oh, uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So I've got 100%. So double accuracy. Um, deal 10% more damage. I save 90% of my ammo. And then what? what's the, this one? Du, du, du. It's halved. Melee attacks have 25% accuracy. Take 15% damage from all. So I think that's why most people take it. It's 15% less damage. Four per minute instead of one per minute. Oh, damn, man. Items from sources will be time, two times as common. And what was the... Oh, it's the same for all of them. Um, I'll get the rage one. Fuck it. Can't go back now. I've done it. So my range is going to be obviously a main method of training now and while i'm here i said i was going to do something and i forgot yeah i'm going to the champions guild to get um green dehyde chaps and van braces i believe you can get in here so um yeah because because i completely forgot about getting them like an idiot so i believe it's just her is it or is it any of these no it's not her but that's the uh, adamant plate body how much is that 21k oh my jesus so can i yeah okay so i've got the these for 3.9k and then for i don't know how much i might as well get that because that's extra thingy and then equip all this and boom oh it's task equip a full green dehyde set yeah there we go so i've got full dehyde on now and um i need to get my ass back to ogres and continue killing them please don't be on call oh, 13 minutes i'm gonna have to run back now or use a fairy ring, I guess. So uh, there we go. I did just get 50 ranged, but um, because I kept getting attacked, I I missed the thing completely. But 50 ranged, so I can use magic short bows now whenever I finally get them. Like this guy's using one. But um, right now, I'm just going to carry on. I don't know if I'll complete this task before I go back to woodcutting, but I just needed a break from woodcutting because it was like two, three hours of just woodcutting and i mean i was getting levels but you know it's it, it i can't it's much faster than the normal game but at the same time i see streamers like killing bandos and shit already and i'm just like i know i need to do these boring steps in the first place to get to that point but they didn't sit there we'll cut in and they're still at that point so you know it's just just my way of doing things but i guess i'm going at my own pace and these ogres are really pissing me off because they keep fucking walking away and then they de-aggro, and then they walk off, and then you run around, and another one starts attacking. It's so annoying, but we keep moving. Right, while I am um, here, I'm, I've got 50 ogres left to kill for the Slayer task. I fucking hate this task. <laughs> I just want a new one. Um, I'm going to go back to woodcutting and fletching, and I've been told by this guy who's using a magic shortbow right there, because he's already fletched it. That doing maples is much better for XP. So I'm going to do maples. I'm not really bothered about the cash at the minute. I'll just sell all those unstrung maples to a um, to a to a general store because I can't be asked like to go back and string them as well. So I'm literally just going to be fletching and then just banking them just behind the bank in uh, Sears Village. So I'm going to hop on over there and then carry on. And I'll probably be back when I've got 80 fletching. So I completely decided against um, getting the magic short bow for now, just because like I thought just getting a bunch of tasks done is simply the best thing. So I've been like 
catching 50 salmon and i've been like entering the ranging guild and just easy things like that just getting these quick tasks done so now my goal at the minute is just like catching 50 swordfish and that's literally my first one so this is going to take a while but um yeah i'm, I'm just getting the tasks done like one by one and the levels will come passively with it so the magic shortbow is on hold for now but it shouldn't be too much longer before i eventually go back and get it anyway so last time i made any clips i was like 900 something total i don't know how many points and tasks i was off another area or whatever but i yeah you can see from my stats i've done a lot and basically last night i spent four hours getting the fighter torso so i'm an absolute fucking chad now look at me with my monkey this this monkey's just never coming off it's just always there but yeah i've got the fighter torso big fucking melee upgrade even though i'm mainly range but whenever i want i can train melee and i have like good strength bonus um i'm almost there with the magic shot but i'll say almost it's still quite a long way to go and um yeah i've been doing rune crafting i've been doing fee like I i've basically every skill i've been doing like a lot of hunter i've been doing birdhouse runs um and yeah my my aim at the minute is still to just get the magic short bow while i'm just like i'm just afk at the minute like editing clips and that and obviously i'm still getting the tasks i only need four more for my next area which is going to be um what's it called asgarnia yeah i'm going to get asgarnia second um a lot of people have been getting mauritania but i'm going to get asgarnia and 750 points until my next relic, which I believe will be unnatural selection, without a doubt, because I'm not that bothered about the treasure seeker one. So, um, yeah. So, for some reason, I'm only just getting around to doing this, but um, I've got four more tasks for my next area, and I believe I have four diaries to complete. So, I've just done the RD one. This antique lamp is going to go on Herblor. 20k xp that's so nice 39 herb lot nice um yeah this should this should get me like a decent amount of herb law um xp from these antique lamps so i'll keep you updated with the next diary that's the um lumbridge and draenor diary complete then so i suppose this xp is going on um herb law as well see what level i get from this another 20k and 43 herb law. I'm flying through these levels now. So that is the Varrock Easy Diary done. Let's speak to Toby, get my rewards. So Varrock Armor 1 and the Antique Lamps going on herb law again. What's that? 46 herb law now. Very nice. So that is the Karamja Diary complete. And here I am speaking to Jackie. And... Um, yeah, just, just going to claim my reward, please, Jackie. And we've got this antique lamp. And we're putting that on Herblore, as always. Yep, 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 yep. And now I have unlocked a new area. So the next area I'm going to choose is Asgarnia. And there's a lot of shit I can do. So what I plan to do is, obviously, I can do mining in the motherload mine i can go to burthorpe and i can get my dragon defender if i ever wanted to um th there's a lot of shit that i knew i could do and now i've completely forgot so so yeah i'm just gonna unlock it right here and let it do its animation which looks pretty cool and then we'll do, we're just gonna teleport over there now i've got it yes Oh, so it's literally a direct um, Falador teleport. So eventually, yeah, I can go and kill the mole whenever I want to. I don't know how that's going to be without DH though, but I, I guess I could just range it. Um, but that requires doing the Falador hard diary, and I'm not sure if I'm anywhere near being able to complete that yet. But I can do the mole, I can do uh, mining, I can do a lot more quests. So with that area being unlocked, um, it's my second area now, and I'm going to wrap this video up here. So as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and peace.